There are four ways to pay off your Parent PLUS loans. The first is to use the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program to have your loans forgiven tax-free. This is the most challenging way to have your Parent PLUS loans paid off because it requires you to work 10 years full-time in a government or not-for-profit employer. This is not easy as most parents when they take out Parent PLUS loans are in their 50s and 60s nearing retirement and the prospect of working 10 additional years is not exactly the thing that you want to do. Now to get this benefit you'd have to consolidate your Parent PLUS loans and you would have to use the Income Contingent Repayment Program which is 20% of your discretionary income which is kind of high. If you did that for 10 years at the end you would have the balance for a given tax free but the question is, is, is that really worth it? The answer is it depends. The second way to pay off your Parent PLUS loans is by refinancing your Parent PLUS loans into your name. By doing this, you can cut the interest rate on your Parent PLUS from 7 or 7.5% or 8% down to a more reasonable number like 4.5 or 5 or 5.5%. 5 .5%. This could save you thousands and thousands of dollars in interest that instead can go to the principal and allow you to pay back your Parent PLUS loans sooner. The third way to pay off your Parent PLUS loans is to refinance them into your child's name. Every family is different and some Parent PLUS loans become the obligation of the parent because the parent wants it to be that way because the parent wants to feel like they covered undergrad and then the child can cover any additional schooling on their own. But some parents cover the Parent PLUS loans because the child can't get access to credit and that's the only way they can, they can do it. And then the understanding is, is that once that kid has a job that's good paying that they can afford to pay their student debt back, that kid will take over the Parent PLUS loan and make the payments for them. Now what's better is to have more of that money actually go towards paying off the loan instead of having it go towards just profits for the government. So that's the benefit of refinancing Parent PLUS loans into your child's name. Right now, Common Bond and Laurel Road will do that for you. And if you go to studentloanplanner.com and click on the refinancing tab in the top of our menu bar, you'll get cash back bonuses probably of $300 to $500 for doing that in addition to the lower interest rate cost. The fourth and final way to pay back your Parent PLUS loans is really exciting to me personally because it's a strategy that I have not seen used nearly as much as it should be and could be used. But the approach would be to consolidate your Parent PLUS loans, save up enough money where you can retire, perhaps by putting the loans into forbearance during those periods where you're making that high income, and then when you enter retirement, perhaps at 65, your income for most people will be Social Security plus a little bit of money from their IRA and maybe a little bit from a pension. If you have a significant Parent PLUS loan balance, perhaps over $100,000, and your retirement income is modest, we'll say below $50,000, then this strategy could allow you to pay a very small amount every month and then when the loan balance continues to grow, you have 25 years of payments before the loan balance becomes a taxable event. You have to pay taxes on the forgiven balance. Well, most people don't make it to 90. So if you wanted to play against father time, if you happen to die before 90, then the balance is forgiven tax-free. You don't have to worry about it for your state or your heirs. Also, if you run out of money, most people use Medicaid to pay for nursing homes anyway. Now, if you last beyond 90, what are the chances that the federal government is going to be able to collect a huge five or six figure tax bill from a nursing home resident that's living off of uh, Medicaid and Social Security? The answer is, is they're probably not going to win in that, in that battle. So it's a reality that a lot of people who have Parent PLUS loans, middle class people, could retire years sooner than they think they could if they simply took advantage of one of these strategies. We make custom plans for Parent PLUS borrowers. If you're interested in this, go to studentloanplanner.com or the article link below in the comments and click on any of the contact us buttons and we will be happy to give you more information as to how we might be able to save you tens of thousands of dollars in your Parent PLUS loans and also get you on track to be able to afford retirement perhaps years sooner than you thought possible.